Hi there, Pastor Jeremy here. If you've seen the news over the last couple of days, then you probably know already that Governor Reynolds is easing the restrictions on businesses and churches across our state, including here in Polk County. You may have even heard that Vice President Pence is encouraging churches to start meeting in person once again. This has prompted several people to ask if we will resume in-person services at Deborah Heights Wesleyan Church this Sunday. Now, the short answer to that question is that no, we will not be holding in-person services at DHWC this Sunday. But I want you to understand why that is. You see, this decision has not been made out of fear. Rather, as I told you last week, our leadership team has prayerfully identified three external factors. That is, factors over which we have absolutely no control that we need to see before we will announce a date for our first in-person services. The first of these factors is a three-week downward trend in new COVID-19 cases here in Polk County. Second, we want to see the gateway criteria for phase two of the federal reopen plan. And finally, we need to be confident that we can obtain cleaning supplies on an ongoing basis. Now, simply put, we just haven't seen all of those things fall into place just yet. I also want to tell you today about some of the internal things that need to be in place before we can safely resume in-person worship services. First, we want to have a sustainable plan for cleaning and sanitizing the facility every single week. Now, since we depend on volunteers to clean the church, this means making sure that we have enough volunteers who are willing and able to help on an ongoing basis. If you would like to be included in this group, please let me know. But it also means making sure that we have adequate cleaning supplies and personal protection equipment to make sure that our volunteers are able to clean safely. We're also making plans to minimize the risk of transmitting COVID-19 during one of our services. These plans include removing bulletins, pens and pencils, hymnals, pew Bibles, and even offering plates from the sanctuary. We will not be serving coffee in the church. And there is a very strong possibility that we won't be singing together when we first start meeting together again. See, studies have shown that singing significantly increases the risk of transmitting and contracting viruses such as COVID-19. We've been rethinking the way that we celebrate communion. This has meant ordering prepackaged elements for the next several months. For your protection, when we resume in-person worship services, we're going to be limiting the number of people who can participate and doing what we can to help them maintain appropriate physical spacing so that we minimize the risk of exposure. Now, this might mean requiring tickets to attend or setting up an overflow room with audio and video feeds that will allow people who don't fit in the main sanctuary a place to participate. We want to be certain that resuming in-person worship does not leave out those who are unable or uncomfortable attending. So we're formulating a plan to keep producing an online service every single week. And we are working to enlarge our hospitality team so that they can help address many of these issues on an ongoing basis. For instance, we are looking for people to open and close doors, to periodically sanitize restrooms throughout the Sunday morning worship service, to show people to their seats, to keep people from moving into areas of the facility that do not need to be contaminated, and so on and so forth. Now here's the reality. We've already started working on these things. For instance, we've already ordered prepackaged communion elements, and they've actually come just this week. We're keeping very close tabs on the availability of cleaning supplies, and we're refining our online services production process. We've recalculated our seating capacity. In the coming days, we're going to be marking the pews accordingly. And starting today, as I said, we're seeking volunteers to serve on the cleaning and hospitality teams. So if you're interested in serving in these areas, please let me know. But here's the truth we're still a couple of weeks, at least, from resuming in-person gatherings. Now, as that day draws nearer, we're going to be providing more of these updates. But until then, I want to encourage you to be patient. Keep spreading kindness and joy. Keep sharing the hope that you have in Jesus. Pray for our leadership team here at the church, but also at the state and national levels as well as we're all making important decisions in the next few weeks. 
and know that we are praying for you. Like our Facebook page to receive the latest information and updates about our plans to resume in-person worship services. Be blessed and be a blessing. We'll talk to you soon.